Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of February 1925, a potential diphtheria epidemic in Alaska was avoided after a dog sled relay transported vials of antitoxin 674 miles in just five and a half days in what became known as the Great Race of Mercy. The town of Nome lies just two degrees south of the Arctic Circle and, at the time of the diphtheria outbreak, approximately 10,000 people lived in and around the town. Nome's sole doctor, Curtis Welsh, had ordered diphtheria antitoxin to replace the expired stocks in the local hospital, but the shipment did not make it to the town before the port on the Bering Sea closed for the winter. In December 1924, Dr Welsh diagnosed a young boy with tonsillitis, having dismissed the possibility of it being diphtheria since nobody else had displayed symptoms of this highly contagious disease. The child died soon after, but his mother refused to allow Welsh to perform an autopsy, meaning that a number of other children caught and died of the disease before Welsh was formally able to diagnose diphtheria in mid-January. On the 21st of January, the town council imposed a quarantine and put out an urgent call for antitoxin, which was located in Anchorage. With the fierce winter conditions making aircraft delivery impossible, the decision was made to transport the valuable cargo using a dog sled relay. The first of 20 mushers involved in the relay, Wild Bill Shannon, collected the package of antitoxin at 9pm on the 27th of January and immediately he set off on the first leg in a temperature of minus 46 degrees centigrade. The longest and most hazardous leg, stretching 91 miles, was completed by Norwegian-born Leonard Sapala and his lead dog Togo. At 5.30am on the 2nd of February, the serum arrived in Nome with Gunnar Carson and his lead dog Balto. Every ampule remained intact, and within three weeks, the quarantine was lifted. 